Come on in. I'm going to show you a day in my life as a realtor. So right now it's 10.45 p.m. on a day before my day starts. So you might be wondering why I'm starting my day on the night. No, that's true. I start my tomorrow's day today night because first thing what I'm going to do a day before night is I'm going to clean up all my emails, just go through all the, the previous day, all, all today's emails clean up all the things that I have to respond some of them you know quickly or some of them I can send it to my assistant or some of them into a later folder where I can respond it later the day tomorrow and next thing I will do is I will set up um, my calendar for tomorrow because it's it's really um, important as a realtor because I've been really really scattered and and stressed out in first three months because I didn't know how to you know plan my day especially as an Indian I never ever used a calendar in my life until I came to Canada after coming to Canada even it's like after I started working even after that like I think just after I got into real estate investing then I learned how to get into calendar so that was a big pain for me so uh, from the books I read and from the people whom I follow who are like high achievers that's what they do they check out their emails thrice a day or maximum maybe twice a day one is mandatory day before night so that today's like yesterday's all um, information has been ruled out so you have left some more information to focus on so you know that's what I do and I'll set up my day for tomorrow and I will go for bed with a peace of mind because now I don't have to think about anything I can just have a you know a easy nap so if I, I, I will generally hit my bed around like 10, 11 11 30 and I will check you out tomorrow morning good night I learned that as a real estate agent or entrepreneur, it's really important to have a perfect morning routine. So that's why I started waking up um, in the morning between 5 to 6 a.m. I, as soon as I wake up, I go straight into the washroom and brush my teeth and then I go grab a bottle of water. So that, you know, hydrates the body the more hydrated your body the more energy you will carry during the day and i can definitely feel that um as soon as i have some water like at least i have i'll have like two liters of water and then grab a coffee and a book that i want to read um or sometimes i just write journal or sometimes you know i work on things that i really wanted to and then you know once i'm done this is my favorite part in the washroom i don't know if anyone does this but i sit with a book i read almost i will be in the washroom just for like by reading book and maybe i finish my washroom but i just sit there for almost uh, 20 minutes and reading the book that's i really feel more productive and i learn really crucial important stuff in that 20 minutes throughout my day and there on I hit the gym for almost like uh, uh, 45 minutes you know it's it's really important to off ease off your body and and have a like you know it, it goes like this like if you have a better health you'll create better wealth if you have better wealth you will have a better life overall happy success or everything follows that order health wealth success happy so that's why I set up my morning routine this way and again I'm always improving on it I'm not perfect in any mean um, I will fall off once in a while you know maybe um, sometimes I go for like four days a week sometimes I go for five days a week um, but again I tend to um, stick to the morning routine as much as possible because that keeps my day really 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 um, high focused and uh, energetic throughout the day okay so 
now I'm driving to one of my uh, sold property the appraisal appraiser is there so I'm gonna show the property to the appraiser but just to wanna give a little bit talk about uh, you know how agent works you know that's many people have a big misconception especially if you haven't done uh, haven't worked as a realtor before because many people think that real estate is super easy just you know show the house and sold but that's not the case that's really only happens once in a while but there are so many things first of all finding the client where do you get the client from and client trusting you in writing the offer because that's the biggest challenge especially for newbies you know they are trusting you on their um, you know major savings of their life so that's a big big trust factor goes in there so that's the second level of uh, you know hurdle you have to face as a new agent and three now you have to get their requirements properly what exactly they are looking for sometimes you know even they don't know what they are looking for so now it's your job to figure out what they are looking for and what is the realistic um, you know property that can meet their requirements because sometimes if they are looking for a million dollar property but they have only budget of uh, 300,000 then how can they justify that right so you have that's your job is to make them um, understand their requirements and show the properties that meet their requirements so that's the uh, number three so once they look at the property and they like all, everything but the fear come kicks in because especially if you're a first-time home buyer the fear is real like even I felt super scared when I purchased my first property so now it's your job to make them understand that hey did we met all the check marks maybe go through the list here is what you told me this is what you're looking for you're looking for a property which has a, a nice backyard or which has a nice tree in the back or you know whatever the the uh, qualities that they describe to you when you're talking so when they see visually okay yeah yeah i have this i have this i have this so now let's write an offer let's write an offer based on you know how the market is if it's a crazy sellers market like in windsor then again we have to factor in the bidding wars and we have to take a look at how many offers they can receive and if it's, if it's a buyer market then it's your job to negotiate the best product because that's where your skills come into picture now you negotiate and that's not the job that's where the job is not done it now you have to do all the paperwork to write the papers and you know sign off the papers and once you get all the things once you have to collect the deposit and you have to you know um, give the deposit forms to back to the client you have to educate them what to do next you know you have to set up the utilities you have to get the insurance you have to put them in contact with different people and put them in contact with the lawyer make sure the process goes smoothly because here you don't get paid like doctor or lawyer or anyone a friend you only get paid once the deal is done closed and the money in the bank for the uh, for the seller that's when you collect the check as an agent so there are so many layers in it you have to first of all understand that there is so many layers and it's not a rocket science i'm a newbie i've been only in this business like six months if i can do it honestly you can do it too so just just made it, make your mind and and learn from learn from different resources that are available for you so we are just done with the appraisal for a client of mine uh, we purchased this property i i believe uh, four months ago so it was really in a bad shape so he done b r r r r burr strategy he purchased and now renovated all the uh, things like you know new kitchen new washroom new flooring painting trimming knocked down that wall so he did that now he he just uh, ordered for an appraisal so once the appraisal goes through he will take all his money out so that's a good feeling when the client i'm just doing a favor but again at the at the same time the more service you give to your client the more business you receive so that's worth
stay tuned for the rest of the things so this is the property that i recently sold listed for 149 sold for 70000 over asking so i have to put up my sold sign sold sold you know, the best word i love in this world right now is the sold do you want to check out the property come on so now the property is sold right so i have to take my lock box i have to put up a sticker until the property closing date um, and make sure everything in the house is clean so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to open up the lock box but first let me check out inside the house if everything is good then i'm going to take off my shuttle it's a beautiful house perfect for a sm small family or young couple It's an awesome feeling to put up the sold sign in front of the listings because that means, yeah, <laughs> you know, actually, real estate is a crazy, emotional roller coaster ride because you know you you will go through literally like in a moment where you will be like really pumped up and really love that moment when the sale happened. and when things not falling or when you're trying to negotiate or when the seller is not understanding or the buyer is not understanding that's when again you go to a slump but at that time that's what what I'll do is I'll take a deep breath and leave it for a few minutes do that then I come to a normal neutral mode and I can negotiate and negotiate the best deals for my clients or for myself so Yeah and uh, it's a uh, noon I'm going to show another property after that I, I will head for lunch so this the property I'm going to see right now show show for my client right now is also my listing it's a nice student house it has a great potential need some tlc work it could be a perfect bird project so yeah if you are looking for any student rental bird projects shoot me a text this of unfortunately i don't know if this video will be released by the time we already have an offer offer presentation date so i'll keep you posted if it's there just shoot me anyways if it's there i'll let you know I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see 
from up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free So now it's probably around 8 p.m. I almost uh, done with my follow-up calls and everything. I changed my dress and now it's family time. Going out for a drink because Tuesday my wife and my dad stay home. So I'm going to give them time. So evening and then my stay, day start the same later night and then same thing. It's round clock but good thing with the realtor is there are a lot of new things always maybe my day won't be the same as uh, today during the daytime but the mornings and the e nights most likely will stay 8 to 10 family time 10 to 11 my follow-ups and morning morning routine and then I start my day so that's that's it guys this is how I live let me know in the comments below what do you think about my lifestyle about my realtor journey if you are a realtor let me know how is your day going on and with that i'm gonna wrap up let's we'll go for a drink <laughs> good night